Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the ointment mill. This is it. As you can see, there are hard ceramic rollers here on the front, back, and in the middle. Um, on each side, there are adjustment knobs. One dot means a small gap. Three dots means a bigger gap. Um, as you can see, the back is set smaller than the front. That way it doesn't build up on the sides and uh, come flying out at you. On top here, we have two spacers where you would put your ointment or cream that you would run through the machine. It would go down, come up, and hit the scraper plate and come down. And the scraper plate's removable, so you can wash it and uh, get everything off of it as it hits. There's a hopper that goes on top if you're using a large amount of cream or ointment you can use, but we're not going to use that today. We are using vitamin E crystals, and we're putting it in a metaderm base. I have some pre-mixed here already that I just mixed in the vitamin E, but it's still really gritty if you feel it. And you'll be able to feel that during class time. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set those two so that it holds the correct amount of cream. I already have my knob set and I have everything clear. Now make sure you're not wearing a tie or anything. It's really easy to get your hair or anything else caught in there and it will rip it through there. You can't stop it. So be very careful with this machine. I'm going to add my cream and then turn it on. Now, as you can see, those back two rollers are rolling together, and it'll hit that and go through the front roller, which again is not as tight as the back one, and it'll hit that scraper plate, and uh, cream or ointment will build up on that and travel down the scraper plate. Uh, make sure you have a, something to catch it if it falls off or if it's a pretty thin uh, ointment or lotion, maybe. Uh, as you can see, it's forming here now. Um, it takes a little bit of time to run depending on how you set the knobs. And when you add it, as you can see my spatula has some on it, you scrape it off on that way. You never stick it straight in. When you stick it straight in, it will get caught in the rollers and it will ruin your machine, possibly suck your hand in. So you always scrape it off on the back side of the rollers. As you can see, I've had a large amount of uh, cream buildup. It's actually very smooth now and you'll be able to feel that during class as well. Now the reason for this is because those back two rollers are knocking down the particle size and the uh, front one as well, but for a lesser part, as you've read in the book. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me or one of the other TAs during class or Dr. Spidell or Dr. Lenke.